everyone has a story. And every story, an inspiration. What's your story? The Emma Smith Show, 45 minutes of frank discussion on your road to success. The challenges and your discipline in handling them. The Emma Smith Show, this and every Tuesday at 9 p.m. We repeat on Saturday at 6 p.m. The Emma Smith Show, worth, worth it by discussion. discussion. objective is that uh, as a fellow African and Liberian born, uh, have the opportunity to go abroad, uh, acquire knowledge, uh, have some assets and uh, resources. And I always think it's better to uh, come back home and be able to share and give back to your community. So with that passion for humanity, looking at the situation on the ground and knowing that I'm from Africa, I couldn't stand to see my people going through stuff. I need to be part of the action so that led me back to Liberia to be able to contribute to the society. Yes, as, as a medical professional, I able to acquire some medical supplies, uh, which of course we did give to a Redemption Hospital. Uh, we also identified local clinics uh, and drugstore that needed some medications and gave it to them. Uh, those supplies, I think, are very important for the people in the patient population. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet the administrator for Redemption Hospital and the director of nursing and other staff. Uh, and they were very appreciative of the supply we gave them. Yes, uh, we also did a community donation for us in uh, Douala. Uh, that was before Independence Day, like the day before Independence Day. It's a way to be able to show our love for the country and. Uh, Give back to the people in need and try to spread love. So we did that with clothing and of food, uh, food supplies and gifts. I had a good reception. Uh, people are very grateful that they have a uh, fellow Liberian born, fellow Liberian born coming back home and uh, recognizing the situation on the ground and to be able to help uh, make a difference in the community. So I thought that was also blessing. The actual needs for Liberians, they have Liberians, we have, I'll say, there are several needs, but one of the things I noticed is that uh, people need to get involved, and involvement going to start on an individual level. Everybody has to take responsibility and accountability, even though the government has to play their part, uh, but the citizens make up the government, and it's going to take hard work, Liberians, across the globe, Liberians out of Liberia, uh, all humanitarians out of Liberia to be able to come, they need to come in and help the communities because the community need empowerment. Yes, uh, and I've noticed that uh, with a Redemption Hospital, for instance, some of the supplies I brought was a uh, ventilator, which meant patients on, uh, probably on life support due to respiratory problem or breathing problem. Uh, we have the ventilator that is set up like an outside support, like an outside lungs to help the patient breathe and do the breathing. So supplies like that are brought. Uh, they might not have cases for tracheostomy and other things, but in the future, maybe they might have those. Uh, I spoke to one of the staff that said they might have CPAP and other stuff, but not on the level of a ventilator. And I think we need to uh, get involved more as medical practitioner from out of Liberia to be able to help and bring some of these supplies and the uh, tools to Liberia and also educate the nurses how to use them. The Emma Smith Show, this and every Tuesday at 9 p.m. We repeat on Saturday at 6 p.m. The Emma Smith Show, worth it by discussion. medical world, especially within Liberia, uh, looking at the medical situation from across the board, I noticed that uh, 
the staff need more training that is there need to be more in services uh the government need to ensure that those that are going in the medical field get very proper but what the government need to do government is the enforcer of the law so they can put rules and regulations in place for nursing schools uh, or medical school if they have some in the country to make sure the students go through proper training before they can be put out to be able to work for patients now if it was in the usa it's a different system where you got to go through clinicals and then you got to go through different rotation different in services you got to get different certifications before you can be able to perform certain responsibility and i think uh, the government of liberia or uh, Ministry of Health and other group need to uh, enforce uh, much more stricter rules because you are dealing with human life and you want to make sure those that are working with people uh, know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, not, not for now, not like your NGO, but for now, I just want a partnership with different groups like uh, livelihood. You know, like you guys are working with uh, empowering the people through agriculture and also empowering the neighborhood. Uh, these are the kind of missions I want to support. I don't want to basically just come in and get an NGO separate. But I want to be the person to coordinate the resources and collaborate among different NGOs and different government agencies to make sure we are using our resources effectively. Political ambition, like at this moment, I don't have any plans of uh, getting involved in government. Uh, you know, outside of regular government, being a government official, I think if we can play our part, you know, if you can support a family or you can support a community, it relieve the burden from on the government and help the government to get a little breathing space. So from that perspective, I think I can work effectively to help the country move forward. And that's my mission, but I don't want to be a, uh, you know, uh, my message for the Liberian people will be mostly for those that are in, I know the country is tough, situations are tough. Uh, the government is, might be trying or have some weaknesses, but the most important thing for any country or for the country to develop and move forward, the citizens and the people are going to have to roll their sleeves and work hard, be sincere, be honest. Uh, everything can be on the government. If you are honest enough to report to work on time, do that. If you are honest enough to go and draw water, to help your family, do that. Of honesty and how work going to start from an individual level and then the government going to work around and we all can work as a team our goal is no matter who you are it's better to get involved than to stay on the sideline and criticize we can criticize everything we want but until you get involved to help the country the country going to remain in the, set, the same situation so what do you do you make the decision do you get involved or do you stay on the side and criticize i choose to get involved and i hope you do the same
Everyone has a story. And every story, an inspiration. What's your story? The Emma Smith Show, 45 minutes of frank discussion on your road to success. The challenges and your discipline in handling them. The Emma Smith Show, this and every Tuesday at 9 p.m. We repeat on Saturday at 6 p.m. The Emma Smith Show, worth it by discussion.